hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious grilled fish so let's go ahead and get started so I am using a very small fish from the market it's red snapper you know Haitian that's the that's the fish of Haiti okay this is what we everybody knows um, we eat all kinds of fish obviously we're an island so we have access to all the fishes but red snapper is our favorite one of our favorite so I've watched washed cleaned my fish it's perfectly cleaned i got it cleaned at the grocery store because i'm not gonna do the scaling at home hell no so after i've done that rinse it and everything i rinse it with uh vinegar and lime juice so i go ahead and add my lemon juice i'm using lemon instead of lime yes i know i didn't have lime and i added a half teaspoon of salt and i'm adding one tablespoon of my sweet delicious ipis it's not really sweet but i just say sweet because it makes it sound yummy so I am using pimiento seeds. I am going to use only three seeds, cloves and black pepper. So I, I grounded all of them together and I added it to my fish. So that's the pimiento seeds, the cloves and the black pepper grounded together. And I'm also using all-purpose chicken seasoning. Like I said, I use this in all my food, my dishes. So, yeah, it's honestly one of my favorites. So I added half of a teaspoon of that. And I'm also using the Montreal chicken seasoning. No, we're not cooking chicken, but I'm using that seasoning because it makes it really delicious. So, yes, I added half of a teaspoon of that one in there. And I'm also using this Creole seafood seasoning. Uh, it's bomb. About half of a teaspoon also. And of course some olive oil to marinate it. So we're going to go ahead and rub it all over. Gently, nicely. Put it all the way. Put it inside of it too. Open the fish and put the seasoning inside. You want it to be very well seasoning. Seasoned. And then I'm gonna let it marinate overnight because that's what I like to do. But it's fish. Four hours is also fine, but I prefer to have my marinade. So the next day when I'm about to grill my fish, I put it outside for about an hour to get it to room temperature. And I'm gonna stuff it with those vegetables. I'm gonna stuff it with onion, red onion, yellow onion, um, yellow bell pepper, some shallots, thyme and parsley. You don't have to do all that. You could just use just onion and, you know, thyme parsley or just shallots. But I'm extra, so it's got to be extra. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff all of that in there, in that fish. Well, not all of it because <laughs> it's a small fish. <laughs> Whatever that I can get in there, I'm going to put in there. So after stuffing my fish, we're gonna go ahead and grill it. So I'm using this Cathlon grilling pan. Oh my God, it is the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon or two oil, olive oil to the pan, to my hot pan, my hot grill pan. And then I'm gonna add the fish. I'm gonna gently lay the fish in the pan. So once you've put your fish in the pan to cook, you're only gonna flip it once. Do not flip it more than once. 
so I cooked my fish uh, for about six to eight minutes it's a small fish it's not that big so six to eight minutes on each side so I added the remaining of the seasoning the marinade I put it on top of it so yeah so it could be tastier so cook it uh, between six to eight minutes on each side and only flip it once if you don't want a mess if you want your fish to stay perfect if you want it to stay like a fish looking like a fish you have to flip it just once anyway so after eight minutes six to eight minutes I'm gonna go ahead and flip my fish with the stuff still inside flip it just like that see how beautiful it looks for an additional six for the other side to cook Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying, but um, you guys get it. So my fish is done. This in the back and the little pan, the blue thing is detergent, um, fabric softener with water. I let it simmer. It gets rid of the odor, the smelling of the food. Anyway, this is the final product, you guys. The fish was delicious. I ate it with fried plantain and fried breadfruit and some pickles on the side. Oh my lord, when I told you that was bomb, it was so good. I had to question myself. I'm like, did, did I really just do this? Like, that's crazy. I'm amazing. I'm like amazing. <laughs> like, so amazing. But anyways, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And if you do, let me know. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you real soon in the next video.